Bruder hurls it into the area. Ferdin oh. can't connect. Alex Murphy came charging through. Murphy, who scored his first goal for the club, just couldn't direct that header on target, Ali. Yeah, it was a great, great delivery, you know, uh, throw in. A good Substitution about to take place here, Ed McCarthy. Set to be introduced. Yeah, that's disappointing for Fancy Lombardo. He must have picked up some kind of a knock um, or a strain that he, he can't continue. You know, after getting into the side, you know, first start of the season, from he'd be bitterly disappointed. He's gone straight into dressing, so there's obviously something wrong. Stephen Walsh to Boyle and Boyle to McCarthy. McCarthy's on side. Ed McCarthy rolls the ball back to Stephen Walsh. Yes, he got the line. Wilson Loureiro oh, puts sorry. the ball in the back of the net, and the assistant referee with the late flag, no goal. Yeah. You, Looking keen, I'm surprised McCarthy did square it across. You know, probably being uncertain, he probably just ran out of space. But I thought he would have taken the shot on himself. But um, it must have been Wilson that was offside because uh, I don't think Stephen was because he was he was actually behind him when he when he squared it across to him. Controversial so, decision. Yeah, right? Coffey's not happy. He's having a go at the fourth mission, but he didn't put up the flag. He's probably just frustration. Caulfield can't believe that a throw in was given to Longford Town. Michael Connolly, the fourth official, is down to have a word. First of all, he handled the ball, Keane. You know, that was blatant. And then to give it to give them the throw in was a double whammy. One last gasp attack. Just past it. Two minutes additional time. Kerry Cronin isn't happy. There will be couple of seconds left Michael Connolly the fourth official just ensures free kicks taken from the right place James Keddy and Gary Cronin have a word Hurley's free kick goes into the area Portillo with a touch takes a deflection off Eric Malloy won't be time for the corner kick half time Ali scoreless but interesting game nonetheless. Ah, yeah, look, the four teams have impressed the times. The both of them had their, uh, you know, little flurries where they, they play well and a couple of half chances. The, 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 the chance McCarthy had, I think, was, was probably, you know, I know it was flagged for offside, but I, t I just took, totally took it, should have took it on himself, you know. Maybe he ran out of anger, maybe the, the ball came away from but um, the, the ball he squared to Stephen Watch, he sh should have probably scored, and then it went to obviously to Wilson and he was offside, but. Um, it's been a good contest between two, two teams, but look, there's been a healthy crowd here now tonight, Keane, and you know, Gold would want to win this game as well to keep generating people coming back and the interest in the whole lot. But we, we really need to get the three points in this game this evening. Sharashka, Park Game in DC, Dundarn Alan Shoyter, Galiente, August, Polya Longford. People tuning in all over the world this evening, Ali. Yeah, there's a few lads that are working in Thermo King over in south of France at the moment. Um, Martin Collins, uh, Sean O'Neill, Dave Biggins, Joe Gurgy, and Vinnie Madden. Um, they're over watching the League of Ireland stream in, in the south of France. Here that people are tuning in all over the world. It's Ed McCarthy. Good skill from Ed McCarthy. Goes into the area. Mick McDonald with yes. the challenge. Penalty given by referee David Dunn. McDonald with the foul on Ed McCarthy, who deserves immense credit for manufacturing an opportunity there. And it's a penalty for Galway United. Yeah, he did well. You, you know, you, you always run the risk if you, if you win the box and, and win a bit of pace, especially. The, midfield the way he drove in there nice little step over and um, you know he, he asked a question the centre half and he, he hit the trail and like he did definitely penalty David Hurley will take a score twice from the spot at the Carlisle grounds away to Bray Wanderers he subsequently scored against Bray Wanderers at Eamon DC Park can he make it three for the season David Hurley steps up smashes it yeah, and Galway United lead Longford Town by a goal to nil a third goal of the campaign for David Hurley, Ollie. Yeah, look, he dispatched it well. In fairness, there was a lot of pressure on him as well because 
you know, there's a massive crowd around the, the back of the goal, and it adds a bit of pressure on the club here as well. But it didn't bother them at all. Ice cool and starting in the top corner. Great finish. Football can be a cruel game. Longford Town are probably wondering how they trail here at Eamon DC Park by a goal to nil. But Dave Hurley confidently converted that penalty as Caulfield issued some instructions from the dugout. United lead at Eamon DC Park by a goal to nil. Yeah, a good start to the second half, Keen, you know, but I'd like to see them drive on now and try and get the second goal, um, not rest on the laurels and, and try and hold on to the, the one goal lead. McMenemy drops deep to pick up possession for Longford Town. And tries to find Graydon. Graydon takes it down nicely outside of the blue cross to Malloy. Portia did ever so well to deal with that situation, Oli. Yeah, excellent. Look at the, we said it is uh, during the first half. The three lads up front for Longford are very good. In fairness, and, the, and Conor O'Keefe replaces Gary Boyle. Ian <laughs> Manning will replace <laughs> Wilson Waweru. McCormack towards the back post, Bruder, beaten to it by Ferdin, Hemmings yes. with the shot, 2-0 Galway United, a first Galway United goal for Max Hemmings, a great finish too Ollie. Yeah look at it, great ball in from McCormack, Bruder did very well to push the ball down from but he had a bit of work to do to keep it down and, and find the far corner but a fantastic finish and look at Galway, Galway did probably deserve it you know but the, the, the needs of the cushion of an, another goal because the threat of Longford going forward, uh, you know, there is that uh, one goal either times, you know, to get it back to a draw, but look at it, it's a great finish by Hemmings. Second half goals from David Hurley and Max Hemmings ensure that Galway United lead at Eamon DC Park by two goals to nil. He's had a great game tonight in fairness to him, and you know, that, that'll bring him on again, that goal as well, so look at it, that's what you want in the, in, in the team when you're obviously up near the top is, is everyone that's coming in is making a difference. Hurley, just good strength and determination. Oh, well good possession. Who's at McMenemy? He's on a card. He could be put off here, Dean McMenemy. It's a pity because McMenemy delivered a purposeful first half performance, but he's been red carded for a second yellow. Hard offence there, Ollie. Yeah, look, a massive loss for, for Longford. Um, the right foot across into the area, headed away by Bruder. Robinson comes charging through. Free ah. kick given. Another soft free kick in. All I want to see this out now as well. You know, it's important too as well for, for managers and, and for, for the, the team itself to keep a clean sheet. Wayne Graydon. Dylan Barnett, ball, stand over the football here, Verdon walks away, so it's going to be either Barnett or Graydon, who hit this free kick for Gary Cronin's Longford Town. Graydon with the effort, oh, what a save from Connor Kearns. Yeah, fabulous save, yeah, it was, it was like it was his side in him, but look at he, he did very well to get a strong arm to push it out for a corner. Decision with Michael yeah, he's Connolly. Like he's, he's given some awful soft free kicks tonight for Longford, the referee. Um. There it is, Ollie. Yeah. Full time whistle blasted. Satisfactory evening for Galway United. Absolutely, look at it. Six points over over the quick turnaround the game is brilliant. Um, big crowd head to call here tonight and, and look at you want them to go away in a positive frame of form. Like it, the only possible negative maybe tonight would be France Lee's and Lombardo going off um, early in the first half. Hopefully it's only something that minor that he, ha that he has, but um, look at it, an all round up three three points again tonight, clean sheet, um, two 0 victory, fantastic.